On behalf of TVLesson.com, this is Master Jeff Wade with SouthMiamiTaekwondo.com. In this clip on weapon disarms, I'm going to show you how to disable a knife, uh, disable a knife attacker and disarm a knife coming at you from below. First of all, as the knife comes in, you don't want to let it develop a lot of inertia. You want to move in as quickly as possible and contain the knife before it uh, develops some speed. Then we're going to hold on to the hand like a sword and we're going to move underneath to here. Now you'll notice the sharp edge is here. The dull edge is here. I can push this and if I'm lucky, catch the knife this way. And then if I want to, I can cut the brachial artery right under his arm and do all kind of damage right there. Then if you want to, you can take the attacker down this way and contain him. As with any weapon disarm, you have to decide what you're going to do after you have the attacker contained. Are you by yourself? How long are you going to be willing to hold this guy on the ground? If the knife flies out, are you going to go for it and try to fight? Our four rules of knife fighting here at South Miami Taekwondo are you will get cut, regardless of whether you have the knife or he has the knife. So it's a decision you want to make ahead of time, and only do a disarm or a containment as a last resort. And now let's see the move in real time. On behalf of TVLesson.com, this is Master Jeff Wade. Thank you for watching.